So I had to reshoot this video because my dumb dumb head went ahead and had game audio playing during this video. So obviously I could not upload that to YouTube. This is going to be post-com. But we have 523,000 training will be opening up in this video. And trust me, I would not upload this unless it's a pretty dang good video. We are pulling for limited edition cards. I'm not going to spoil anything. But we made a milli back on this video, okay? I made a milli from this training packs right here. So, some dubs right there. But nonetheless, though... Where are egg rerolls? That's what my question is. Now, of course, it is not 7 o'clock yet at the time of recording this video. So, maybe EA Sports comes out with a crazy thing and says, Hey, listen, egg rerolls are, you know, now going to be in the game tomorrow. And, you know, get excited. But at the same time, I was thinking about this earlier. Because eggs, small eggs quick sell for, what, 10,000? No, I think it's like 19,000 or something like that. They quick sell for a lot, which means if we did get egg rerolls, they're going to be at least like, because they want you, obviously the point of rerolls is every time you lose, they want you to lose like 10 or 15,000 training. So you take L's. So I'm going to guess that probably rerolls would be like 30, 45,000 per egg reroll, but be 45,000 training for one egg or better. For one small egg or better. And then I would guess it might be like 90,000, 100,000 for one guaranteed large egg. That's kind of what I'm thinking. And at that point, I wonder how much it would actually be worth it to go for rerolls. That's another thing I was thinking about. Everyone's talking about like, oh, we need to get rerolls. EA needs to give us egg rerolls. I'm thinking about how much are they going to cost? Because at some point, these eggs cannot be that good. And right now, it's all it's April 2nd. So, most likely, we're not going to get Grand Eggs or Ultimate Eggs or any limited edition eggs. Unless, again, as we get closer to Easter, it's possible that, you know, EA does surprise us and give us an absolute shock in the world moment and gives us a crazy card. But at this moment in time, I'm just, like, going through and thinking, like, what would EA... Or how much would these egg rerolls actually cost? So, unless... We get Grand Eggs, you know, with the rerolls, then that makes sense. Don't get me wrong. Like, if you could pull a Grand Egg and you could pull a um, an Ultimate Egg, a Limited Egg from rerolls, then yeah, that makes sense, you know, for you to spend 30000 plus training on a reroll. But if you can't, and you can't get a, you know, crazy pull, if you can't, if you can only get literally small, medium, large... I don't know about you guys, but then I'm not re-rolling eggs. Because you know the pack odds are going to be absolutely god-awful. You know EA Sports is not going to give you anything good. They're going to absolutely, you know, give you L's. Plus the fact it's going to cost an arm and a leg to go after. And, you know, it's one of those things where it's like a high risk for a medium mid-reward. Right? Well, yeah, mediums and larges are going to make back your training and make, give you profit. But... For all the smalls you get, you're going to lose. And then at the end of the day, it's going to all even out to you taking L. So, I, I don't know how I feel about it, man. I really don't. So, I'm really hoping EA Sports shocks us. Obviously, it's Sunday. So, I don't think we're going to get anything crazy special. Uh, again, like I said, I know I said tomorrow. But I, I just don't see us getting anything crazy special tomorrow. I feel like if they're going to release limited eggs or crazy eggs, it would probably be like on a Thursday or Friday. My guess is tomorrow we get the content release schedule, and that would probably give us a general idea. Like, they might say in the content release schedule, by the way, specialty eggs coming on Thursday, or specialty eggs or, you know, crazy eggs coming later. That would be awesome, because then we could at least know, you know, something good is coming from all this. But, yeah, so this pack opening in general, I'm going to go ahead and quick sell these cards so that we can actually uh, get some more training. Okay, I didn't want to end it off just like this. I wanted to keep up the training here, you know, get some more training for the video because, listen, I didn't pull a limited edition card in this video so far. So I was like, I can't go out like that. I need to get a chance. I don't care about the coins. Like, that's a 6K pool right there. Nothing crazy special. This one right here ends up becoming a Derrick Henry. See, 
That's why you risk it for the biscuit. That's why you risk it for the biscuit, like Tope Nasty would say. Because we get a 88 overall platinum card, which actually was the biggest W of the video. Not going to lie to you, that was actually the biggest W pool of the video, if I'm being honest. Which, I know it's kind of sad, but you know what? With how these packs be going, man, you take your dubs where you can take your dubs, okay? At the end of the day, I think we all can agree... You take your dubs where you can take your dubs on EA Sports Madden 23. Guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. Sorry I had to do this post calm, but same time, I, I messed up. I took the L. I took the L, man. I'll see you guys in the next one. We end up, by the way, and I'm just going to show you this real fast. We made a, a million and 83,000 off of this whole entire thing, which actually is probably the most, the most coins I made back, I feel like, without. Without spending six million, I only spent like well, I spent five hundred thousand training, but I only spent like technically one hundred and fifty up front. So it wasn't as bad as it has been in the past. But you know what? It is what it is. Peace out, guys.